God yes, said, let us create man in our likeness and wholeness and our image. When God said, let us and our, who is he referring to? Okay, so I'm going to answer the way I want now. Remember, answer it however you like. Good. Sir. According to Jesus Christ in John 7 and 3, the only true God is the Father. Okay. Not according to, but That's according not, to him. In the wrong scripture, well, my well go read the scripture. Let's see if Nicola has read it. Remember, she said she's the John, church. John 17, God 13. said, let us. No, John 7 and 3. John, John 7 and 3. 17 and 3. Yeah, I thought you were the church. Let's, let's watch the church explain this now. I know this is one of the clearest passages in the scripture, in the gospel. which ones benefit his religion. It's still from your Bible, so what's wrong if I choose? What's wrong if I choose? It's still in your Bible, unless you're telling me you don't believe what Jesus okay, says. What Jesus says. Okay, go on. John 17, 3, right? Yeah. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Who is the you there? Hold on, so let's, go back, the let's go back, yeah. let's go back, let's go back. Go back, no problem. Let's go back to the beginning of it. Yeah, go back Jesus to John. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that you may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So who is the you? So he was talking to the Father Good. and he was talking to the listeners at the same time. Okay. So who is so the you then? Wherever Jesus went, he had followers. Thousands, thousands, Nicola, thousands. who is the you? Simple question. Who is the you? Who is the you in, the, the in John 7 and 3? Exactly. He says, this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God. When is who you? is the you? talk about the Father. You. He was the only reason why Jesus came was to glorify his father. So do you agree? The only reason Wait, why he was Nicola, this Nicola, do you agree? Was to glorify the okay. Father God. Now we have now we have concluded that the you in that passage is the Father. Do you agree with Jesus saying that the Father is the only true God? Yes. yes. No. Can I ask you a God question? was the only true God no and Jesus was yes, God. God the Father. God was Jesus. God the Father is the only true God. You don't know the truth, my friend. You don't know the truth because so you So from the church, we have now concluded that the Father is the only true God. If the Father, wait a minute, if the Father, according to the church, Nicola, if the Father is the only true God, can there be any other true God? <laughs> They're laughing at their own scripture. I want to ask you a question. No, wait, wait, wait. But do you agree with Nicola? Do you agree with Nicola? Quran. Okay, they don't want to. You see, I knew this was going to turn into a monologue because at the end of the day, we are here to have a dialogue. If okay. James and Nicola doesn't want to have a dialogue, they want, want to have to a monologue, the then that's fine. Yeah, that's it. What? You are, also, me, me quoting the passage is controlling the conversation. The you the question. You, first, you answer James mine. You still haven't answered mine. She answered it for you, sir. Yeah, so, do you agree with her? I, 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 do you agree with her? Well, we, do I agree with her what? That uh, the Father is one true oh, God? Yes. Yes, yes. With, with the Father, the Son, with the <laughs> Spirit. With, listen, yeah, listen, with Asher, the Father, listen, listen, Father, don't Father, laugh. Son, listen. God, you know, Spirit, you know God. this is the, this is the deception okay, Asher, Asher, of the church. Asher, Asher, I want to say something No, no, my name is Hashim, by the way. Hashim, Hashim, Asher, Minake, you don't know the name. Minake, right? Minake, but you, you guys either. Name of Jesus Christ, okay? You see what I mean? And that's why they She thinks she should have come to glory. John 73, by her own mouth, by her own definition, of the term son. submission, Jesus yeah, Christ is the Father, is the only true God. The, the people that are behind the camera are his friends, that's why he's speaking to them. So let me just say this to you quickly. Why should I speak to you if you're going to disrespect the people behind the cameras? They are my friends. Yes, they are. Nicola is your friend, so she support you. Listen, What's wrong with that? Jesus said, I am the Alpha the o and the Omega. Oh, now she's going to another topic. Now she's yeah. going to another topic. You know, I have an answer to that as well. You know what, so we have already confirmed. So you can control your conversation. Space. You don't even know what you're asking. I'm asking John 7 and 3. You hugged me out. Thank you. And I gave you the Thank you. And you the laughed. Father, according you to you. You have no other question to ask from that. All you did to the answer to my question yes. is laugh and get your friends to laugh. Laugh at you what? No I response. laughed. I laughed you at him no twisting response. the words. Did and he twist the words? So after Nicola, after Nicola confirmed that the Father is the only true God according to Jesus, friend, this guy here twisted it. Like the Pharisees. You know what Jesus said about the Pharisees? Pharisees. Your vipers wow. and snakes. Wow. Yes? Because that's He's what they did. They twist the scriptures He's which are clear. James, I'm saying this in front of you. Yeah, bless you, sir. Yes. Bless Based you. on Jesus himself, <laughs> he says anyone who twists the scriptures like the Pharisees, they are snakes. I just and they are the there. children of the Satan according to him. Okay. Not my words, words of Jesus in the Bible. Oh, so no. Je when Jesus, when Jesus, am, that's sir. fine. Jesus' is words, not my words. So, so, so is this you, you accusing us? Don't, don't, shoot, the, like don't yeah. shoot the messenger. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, uh, the Go complain to Jesus. Now Jesus said, 
this is eternal life that they may know you, so the you're father. Preaching now, by the way. I'm just letting you Stop know. You're you're I shouting. am. I am. No, 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 yes, no. I am. Because <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying here is that He's Jesus God. said God. very clearly <laughs> in John 7 and 3, this is Dominance. eternal life <laughs> that they may know you. Look, look who is laughing now. Look who is laughing. The one who was saying I was laughing is now laughing himself. This guy's throwing a mox, you know. He sits on his phone and he mocks the ones who don't want to know and never believe Like you guys, yes, That's you're right. right. That's why Jesus so says, I'm him with my you, know, laughing, you know what Jesus said laughing, in Matthew 7, 6? Do not give, Matthew 7, 6, Jesus says, do not give what is holy to the dogs and pigs. You know who they were? They were the ones who were the Gentiles at that time. And these Gentiles wouldn't listen like these guys here. They wouldn't listen just to like the teaching of Jesus. Just like you so what does he call them? Does he mock them when he says you're dogs and pigs? No. The term that the King James Version used is the term swine. Okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Alhamdulillah. We know God is love. We know God is loving. Because Allah says in the Quran, He's Al Wudud. Yes, the most loving. So now, now what has happened? What we have seen here is that when there are clear passages from the Bible, they deny it. And these are the these are the Christians today who call themselves I'm the church. Nicola Yo said, I'm the church. All right. So if you guys want to calm down, if you guys want to calm down, we can continue. We're not allowed to preach, but you I want to tell you. No, but you you deny Jesus. You deny Jesus. We're not allowed to preach. Do not touch me, please. Why not? Please do not. Sorry, I apologize. Because of coronavirus number one. Second, we don't I don't want you to touch me. Okay, good. Can I please tell you? No, no, you guys. Can I tell you my testimony? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Don't allow that opening for you for me to tell you my testimony. No, I'll tell you why. Because you are here to preach. I'm not here to preach. Just go to your church. You just this is just corner. You just you, listen. This but why did you twist the verse? We're not allowed to preach, but you Why can. did you twist the verse? You know, okay, do you know what? We're John 7 and 3, I'm why did you twist it? Man. I don't have to have he keeps saying I'm humble man. I am. But it doesn't show humility. Hand. Bless you, sir. By the way, why? I am humble. Coronavirus, I would rather I'm not, not touch. You to it. Okay, bless you. You're not affected I love you by it. Anyway. Good. I love you anyway. Okay, so if you love me, if you love me, then that's fine. Love Jesus Christ and obey Him. When He says the only true God is the Father. No, I don't want you preaching. There's some people that God speaks about who speak with they speak with conceit and they speak with selfish ambition and they speak with like they want a platform they want to be seen John 73 clear passage you know? twisted by these two I, do you know why I've come out here today I've come out here not for me not to be seen not to be heard I've come out here to glorify my father God because he saved me he saved my life not to be heard he saved my okay? life if she doesn't want to be heard then she shouldn't be shouting he saved my life if you're humble well, and you want to, and you want to speak, to, want to, speak to the Father, you, don't you want to speak to God, you don't shout. Listen, you don't listen, shout because she said, I don't want to be heard. The only person who wants to be heard shouts. He doesn't care about you, See what I mean? See what I mean? The woman who said, I don't want to be heard, she wants to be in the front of the camera to be heard. This is a deception. I'm letting your viewers know that you want to be heard. But do you want to be heard? I care about Father God and I care about Father God. Nicola, do you want to be heard or not? people out here that want to know God. You're telling, you're pulling them away from God. No, I'm not. I'm, you are. I'm bringing them no, to the true God. God. I'm bringing them. You, 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 you know what? I want to bring them to the God of Jesus Christ. I want to bring them to the God of Jesus Christ. right now, he's won the debate. You've won the debate, sir. Bless you. I don't want to shake. Bless you. Have a lovely day. Okay. You won the debate. Are you done with your sarcasm? You won the debate. Okay, done with your sarcasm? You Doesn't work here. Okay. You know what? <laughs> that, that woman here, the Nicola, whatever her name is, yes, she said, she wants to teach about Jesus Christ. Have you ever heard her say the name of the Father like the way she says about Jesus Christ? Because now it's become the religion of Jesus Christ. Yeah. What did Jesus say? When I bring the passage from the Bible about Jesus Christ, these people who thumb their chest saying we love Jesus Christ, they deny. No, they, they deny the clear you're, passages you're of Jesus Christ. Jesus. John 73. When I ask about John 73, this man here, James, this man here, James, he clearly said that John 73 is not talking about you only the Father being the only true God. He said the only true God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes? The, the important thing is this. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said only true God. To speak about the Bible when your Quran came 600 years after the fact. It doesn't matter. How long? How long after? Let's see. If he thinks that if he thinks Quran came after 600 years, the important thing is that even Jesus, the New Testament came 1400 years after the New Old Testament. 
But did Jesus tell you to follow the Old Testament? Yes, he did. So this logic goes out the window. Yes. By the way, they all are from the same church. And now, now his bodyguard has come to save her. But unfortunately, the bodyguard is saying something illogical. Illogical. Alhamdulillah for Islam. We tell you to follow Jesus, follow the God of Jesus, because Jesus, you know what? Why should I believe? So everyone is believing in Jesus. Okay, guys, guys, can we go there? Because now they're shouting. Let's go. Let's see if they follow us. Have a lovely day. You have great virtue. Bye bye. You guys are the weakest links. All right. So, so, so basically, guys, guys, come, come a bit forward. It's a performance. Yes, it's not for you. Come here, come here. Give me the water bottle, bro. I mean, brother. So it's become. Um, I personally don't like a shouting ma match unnecessarily, but sometimes that's what it becomes in speakers' corner. Unfortunately, people start shouting. They first agree to have a friendly discussion, amicable discussion. When we bring the clear passages in the Bible which doesn't agree with that pagan Trinitarian doctrine, they get all agitated. Yes? The, I'm not quoting the Quran, I'm quoting the Bible, their own book, their own scripture which they say is from God. When I quote the clear passages from the Bible like John 7 and 3, they get agitated. Why is this? Why do you say I love Jesus and when Jesus speaks the truth, you don't want to know him. You don't want to know his words and if you hear his words, you twist it like the Pharisees do. Why is this a common theme among these evangelists, these missionaries who come here? Because this is what it's become. It's become the religion about Jesus only. Not the religion of Jesus, but the religion about Jesus. Jesus himself says, my father is greater than I. As I hear, I obey. So if his obedience and submission is always to the father, who is his God, to God Almighty, then why do they always go to Jesus Christ? They are not following the teaching of Jesus Christ. They do not love Jesus Christ because Jesus says in John 13, he says, if you love me, you follow my teachings. Clearly they are not. You see how agitated they got, how animated they got when we gave them the clear passages from the Bible. And there are loads of such pas passages in the Bible, yes? Alhamdulillah, this is what happens in the, in the Quran, Allah says, they twist the words of God, yes? They twist it, they change it from its true meaning. And they actually, substituted with other words and with other uh, other meanings in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 79 yeah guys make it two groups of six inshallah <laughs> okay so uh, yes thank, thank you officer yeah. make two groups of six one this side one this side inshallah yes Jazakallah khair so yeah, we, we have a new rule from Monday that we only supposed to be here in groups of six and no more. So I think the officer is just doing his job here. Uh, thank you very much guys for listening. So yes, going back to the discussion, what I'm saying is that in the Quran, Allah actually already told about people like that who twist the meaning of the verses and then substitute it. To, and then they say, this is from God Almighty. And then they want to sell it for a few pennies or a few pence or whatever it is. So what I'm saying is that in the Bible, Jesus condemns people like that who do not follow him, who do not, who say they love him. So this is just paying lip service. Yes, in reality, they don't follow Jesus Christ. In reality, when Jesus speaks the truth, they want to condemn it. They want to go away from it. They want to twist it. And this is something which goes against both the Bible and the Quran. Yes, so let's bear that in mind. Alhamdulillah, the oneness of God, the Tawheed is formulated in the Bible very clearly. You don't need a fourth century doctrine. Because remember, the Trinity was not preached by anyone in the Bible. Not Jesus Christ, not Moses, not Abraham, not any prophet of God Almighty. Yes, they were all Unitarians. So when Jesus says in John 17, 3 that the only true God is the Father, he's, a uni he's believing and worshipping a unipersonal God. Not a tri-personal God, which is actually a form of shirk, a form of polytheism. Yes, because nowhere Jesus says to follow the three, uh, sorry, the three persons or whatever they are. So Alhamdulillah, he has clearly said the Shahada by saying the only true God is one person and that is the Father. This is The term Father is a reference to God Almighty. This is how they refer to him. It doesn't mean a biological father. It doesn't mean it's just a title. 
that that's uh, a title of respect as such. So when some people call God master, yes, uh, like Rab, uh, some people call uh, God uh, Lord, some people call God Almighty. These are all titles of God. Okay, so. The important thing is that they were not tripersonal, they were unipersonal. This Tawhid, this monotheism, pure monotheism has been taught by Moses in the first uh, commandment and in the Shema. The Shema is basically the declaration of faith of the Jewish people. So they say the Shema at least twice in a day, every day. And these people, the Jewish people who learned it from Moses, yes, that here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one, yes. So very clearly, there's no mention of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, no mention of any three persons. Like I said, this came in the fourth century, a doctrine that the church took 400, nearly 320 years, or th over 300 years to establish. And even then they had to fine tune it later on, another 100 years and 200 years. So yeah, Jazakallah khairan, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah, that there is no, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. Jazakallah khairan.